Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina. This is Toffee. She is one of our adorable hens and you're probably wondering why did she bring a hen into frame? Basically, she was over there in the coop and I could not resist grabbing her and putting her in this video. She is my favorite hen. She's the smallest chicken that we have and she's just so stinking cute. You guys, like, look at her. Look how cute she is. And uh, we've had Toffee since she was a chick. Don't peck my face. And um, she was the most skittish. Skittish? I don't know if that's a word, but she was super skittish. Still doesn't sound right. Um, as a chick, and she still is as a hen now, um, but she's the smallest chicken that we have, and so she would often get bullied on by the other hens, but recently she's learning how to stand up for herself and be brave and strong, and um, she recently has had a lot to say every morning I come down, and she's talking a mile a minute like someone else that you're watching right now, and she's just so cute. So this is Toffee, please don't peck me. So you guys are probably wondering what today's video is all about. And basically, we're gonna talk hay today, more specifically, all this hay behind me. We have five tons of hay in our barn now for my two horses and two horses that are being boarded here. And it is five tons of hay that was delivered day before yesterday from South Dakota. And we have various types of hay. And ideally, this should last us a little bit over six months uh, for the four horses. It's really beautiful hay, and I want to take you guys through a little walking tour of our barn that's now filled with so much hay and just show you everything um, that we got for really the spring, summer, and the beginning of fall. So let's get into it. If you've ever wondered what five tons of hay looks like, this is what five tons of hay looks like. We got quite a bit here, and I'm so happy to have the barn filled. So there's a lot of hay in this barn, and you guys might be wondering why I decided to store all the hay inside of the lower barn this time instead of storing it outside like I did um, in the fall when I got our last gigantic load of hay. And um, I think it's really important for people to be honest and to be upfront with the errors and overall mistakes that they make. Um, I am a first generation rancher. I'm learning a lot of things. It feels like a crash course um, with just being out here for the past however many months we've been here. I don't even know because it's been so busy. Um, but one thing that's really common out here for these western states is that a lot of people buy hay in the form of round bales. And they usually store said round bales outside because they're massive. And most people don't have a lot of indoor storage space that they can use for their hay. So people store round bales, gigantic square bales, and just regular small bales outside. And um, I was told by multiple people to do that. So I ordered all of my hay in the form of round bales because it was cheaper. And um, in doing so, I only kept three of those round bales inside. All the others were outside and they were up on uh, railroad ties. So they were up off the ground and everything. And what had happened, which I regret doing this, but I learned from it, is that um, two and a half of all of the round bales that I bought got completely molded out. Uh, there was so much moisture in them and um, they just ended up completely being rotted out. And that was a big financial loss for me because I had specifically planned uh, to buy said amount of hay and have that last a certain amount of time. And so what happened was I actually ran out of hay. And then when I needed to order this hay, um, the, the hay supplier uh, was out of town on a trip. And so I ended up having to buy the really expensive compressed round bales from Tractor Supply. And feeding that to four horses is very, very costly because each one costs about $20. So that's the number one rule that I've learned is that even if you have to take out your stalls or sacrifice some space to store your hay inside, it's better to do that than to try to store it outside because there's a risk that it can get molded. And I did not tarp any of the hay except for like maybe one of the round bales. Um, and they got, they were stored correctly and everything and they still molded out. So 
that was a, a big financial loss and very frustrating. I had such an emotional day that day when I figured, when I found out that, I mean, it was probably 600 plus dollars worth of hay uh, was completely garbage. And I actually was able to sell one of the round bales for like 50 bucks to someone, which was good. So if you ever have like hay that is not of horse quality, um, or even if it's moldy hay, some people will actually buy that for their cows because cows can actually digest moldy hay and not have any problems with it, while horses and goats cannot and other um, livestock animals cannot either. So don't like just completely throw it away. Maybe you can resell it to someone who would actually like to buy the hay. But that's my number one thing that I've learned is to store hay inside at all costs, at all possibilities that you can, you gotta store inside. So that's why the hay is stored inside the lower barn. And um, if you guys have seen some of my other vlogs, there used to be two stalls right here, one stall there and one stall there for my two horses. Um, but I decided to take those out and make room for the hay. All right, so we are going to start at the only round bale that was purchased, and this is an 1,800 pound massive round bale of orchard grass hay with a little bit of some alfalfa. Uh, it is second cutting, and this is really, really nice, and it smells so good. It smells like fresh grass, but this hay is really interesting. You see a little bit of some alfalfa there because it's very fine stemmed so if you notice it's like very light and very silky really really nice hay and um this bale should last if i did my math correctly like 40 ish days with uh four horses so that is the only round bale that was purchased and i mainly decided to go with the large squares which i've never bought before um, because they're easier to store they're not as massive as uh said gigantic round bale and uh, we got a bunch of the big squares. So now going into the big squares right here, we have an orchard grass with a little bit of alfalfa. And you can tell there's a little bit of some browning on these, even though they are shed stored. And this is second cutting as well. They gave me like $5 off the ones that are a little bit brown on the outside. But as you guys can tell, it's still really nice, good hay and a lot greener on the inside. So there's that, and those weigh about 850 pounds. And then down here and right there, we have second cutting alfalfa. And uh, these ones weigh about 900 pounds of really, really beautiful, super duper green alfalfa. Like this is beautiful, you guys, look at this. So I'm really, really happy about that. I know the horses are gonna love it. So I only got three of the alfalfa. Um, and then I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven of the orchard grass alfalfa mix. And then we have more of the orchard alfalfa mix. This one's a little bit greener, but it's like just really nice hay. It smells good. And those ones weigh 850 each. So it's kind of funny because I wasn't really thinking when I had the gal like bring these in and put them down with the skid. So I was like, yeah, we're going to keep a gap between here. And then now I'm like, wait, I probably did not need to do that. But I guess it's kind of nice because I can walk through here if I need to. Um, it's a nice little, little hidey spot for me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, so these are super big. I've never ordered the big squares before uh, in Oregon. I only ever bought the regular small bales that weigh like anywhere from 65 to 95 pounds. Um, that's kind of common in Oregon. And then out here in the West, it's really common for people to buy round bales or the big squares. So um, just a different way of like purchasing hay that I'm not used to yet. So it was interesting to learn a little bit more, but I'm really, really happy. And <laughs> this whole side of the barn is filled with hay. Over here we have the, <laughs> this is kind of funny you guys, the Standle, Stanley, sorry if I was saying that wrong, Stanley Alfalfa Orchard Grass, and these are the compressed bales that I was telling you about that I had to purchase from Tractor Supply because I ran out of hay because two and a half of the round bales got completely molded out. So this is actually really nice quality alfalfa too, it's a little bit dusty than I like to feed my horses um, but I unfortunately had to buy probably like 10 to 15 of these 
to feed the horses until the hay came. So you guys, I basically changed the entire layout of the barn. So the goats are now outside of my window. Oh my gosh, look at Theo. He's just chilling over there. He's so cute. I love it when they sunbathe. Hi, Bramble! Oh my god, they're getting so big. Oh, hi! Hello! Are you saying hello to the peoples? Oh, we're so cute. Oh my goodness. Anyways, the goats are right outside my window, and I love it so much. And they have their new pen out here now that I built for them because the other one got blown down in a crazy windstorm. So now they're hanging out here, and they just get turned out out here. Hello! Oh, we're being so cute today. Hello, Dio! Oh my goodness. Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, I know. Um, what's hilarious is to think that these two little tiny Nigerian dwarf goats, for them to eat an entire, just one of these, I'm not even kidding you, would probably last them a year. I'm like not even joking you. Because <laughs> the goats eat like, um, I don't want to say like handfuls because they eat more than that, but like a large grab full of both hands of hay like that's all they eat and that's really all they need and they get that like two times a day and then usually I give them like a small little toss of hay in the afternoon for a snack but it's just so funny to think like goats eat so much less than horses and like for the horses it's like for one horse that would not even last that long so anyways just something funny to think about guys guess who I found it's a baby Gemini He's not really a baby anymore. He's almost five. End of May. And then Gunner's birthday over there. There he is. Gunner's birthday is April 15th, which is in a little bit over two weeks, which is so crazy. But anyways, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would love to hear from you in the comment box below what type of hay you like to purchase and in what form slash type that you purchase it in why you purchase that kind of hay and anything else that you would like to leave me down in the comment box below and make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this one and Jemmy who is like so busy just eating and I will see you in the next one bye you guys